Welcome to Inner Light Yoga. My name is Carolina and today we'll practice yoga for golfers. So we'll be working on improving your swing, strengthening the back and improving flexibility in general. We'll start in the child's pose. So when you're ready, come to the kneeling position and release your hips to the heels. Stretch your arms forward, spread the fingers and press palms of your hands to the floor. Then you can gently release your head all the way down. Relax your face. And just take a few breaths in here, in and out through the nose. With your next inhalation, lift your hips and gently roll over the thighs as you exhale, releasing your belly and chest to the floor. Place your hands under the shoulders, bring your legs together and move your elbows to the chest. Slowly lift your chest off the floor, throwing the shoulder blades towards the spine into cobra. Let's take a few breaths in here. Try to keep your neck in line with the spine, soft gaze. Okay, and we'll come back to the kneeling position from here, placing knees directly under the hips. You want to just gently move your hips from side to side. Come back to the center. From here, move your left hand a little bit forward and then bring your right arm under. So you want to release your right shoulder and side of the head all the way down to the floor. Okay, then you can stretch the left arm a little bit more forward, pressing left hand into the floor, just to create a little bit of action in the muscles on the left side. Stay here and breathe. And when you're ready, slowly lift up, placing the right hand on the floor and taking the left arm under the right arm, releasing your shoulder and side of the head to the floor and then stretching that right arm a little bit more forward so that arm is straight, you can press palm of the hand to the floor and creating action in the muscles. A few breaths in here. Okay, and slowly lift up and place your right foot between the hands. As you inhale, lift your arms, join the palms together and release your hands down to the heart center. We'll go for a twist in here. So bring your left elbow to the outside of the right knee and press your palms together. Draw the shoulder blades towards the spine and keep your belly gently engaged. Come back to the center, release your hands to the floor, step your right knee back and bring your left foot to the front. As you inhale, lift the arms up, join the palms together and release your hands down to the heart center. Okay, when you're ready, take your right elbow to the outside of the left knee, press your palms together and try to relax your gaze. Take another few breaths in here. Okay, come back to the center, move your left knee back and place your hands directly under the shoulders, spread the fingers. When you're ready, step your left foot back, keep your heel off the floor, engage the muscles and just try to press out through the heel, engaging the leg a little bit more. Okay, move that foot all the way out. And this time, try to bring your heel all the way down to the floor. Let's hold it for another few breaths. OK, 
okay? Bring your left knee back to the floor and stretch your right foot back. Press out through the heel again. Okay, and now move that foot all the way out, trying to release heel to the floor, pointing the toes forward. Hold it for a little bit more. Okay, and take your knee back under the hip. Okay, from here when you're ready, step your left foot back and then step your right foot back into plank. The heart is reaching forward to press out through the heels and gently draw your navel in and up to engage the abdominal muscles. Keep your neck in line with the spine and breathe. With your next exhalation, release your knees to the floor and then gently roll over the thighs onto your belly and chest. Release tops of your feet to the floor and then gently lift the chest, pressing elbows to the ribcage and tops of the feet to the floor. Stay and breathe. Come back into all fours, placing your knees under the hips, curl the toes under, and when you're ready, lift your hips up and press them back into a downward facing dog. Bend your right knee and release your left heel all the way down to the floor. Press it down. And now bend your left knee and gently drop your right heel to the mat. Press it down. Now come up on the toes, both feet, and then release your heels down towards the floor. Again, hold the way up, heels away from the mat, and then release. From here, look forward and step your right foot to the hands. Find your balance. Make sure that your knee is positioned directly above the ankle. And when you're ready, lift your arms up into high lunge. From here, join your palms together and take your hands on front of the heart center. Draw the shoulder blades towards the spine. And when you're ready, bring your left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Press the palms together. Keep your back leg strong. Press out through the heel. Come back to the center, release your hands to the floor and step back to downward facing dog. And here again, you want to come all the way up on the toes, lifting the heels far away and then slowly release them towards the floor. Again, lifting the heels up away from the floor and then release them down. Okay, from here, step your left foot to the front. Again, toes pointing forward, knee above the ankle. As you inhale, lift your arms up, join the palms together, and then release your hands in front of the heart center. Engage your belly, keep the back leg strong, and take your right elbow to the outside of the left knee, pressing the palms together. Stay and breathe. And release your hands to the floor. Step back to downward facing dog. Soften your knees and try to leave the seat bones a little bit higher. Let's hold it for five breaths. Just creating some space in the chest. Engaging the belly. Strengthening your back muscles, shoulders and arms. And when you're ready, look forward, step your right foot between the hands and step your left foot to the front as well. Keep your feet together, spread the toes. And with your next inhalation, you want to lift the arms and sink with your hips back and down into the chair pose. Reach out through the fingertips and try to release the tailbone down to lengthen the lower back. Keep your belly engaged. Stay here and breathe. On your next exhalation, slowly fold forward, releasing your belly down to the thighs and take a hold of the elbows. Gently rock your head from side to side. 
With your next inhale, lift the arms again back into the chair pose. Sink with your hips back and down. This time, join your palms together and release your hands to the heart. We'll go for a twist in the chair pose. So take your left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Press the palms together. Try to keep your knees on top of the ankles. Come back to the center. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, move your right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Come back to the center, release your hands to the shins as you inhale, strengthen the knees and lift the chest halfway up. On the exhale, bend the knees, release your hands to the floor, step your left foot back, gently release your knee, and then move your right knee back. We'll finish in the child's pose. So when you're ready, you can gently move your hips all the way down to the heels, stretch your arms forward, and then release your head to the floor. And when you're ready, you can slowly lift up. Thank you very much for joining me for this short practice. And I hope to see you again for more episodes of Yoga for Golf. Namaste.